everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to do like one of those, like, start the scene. Clap action. Thing, but... Action. Welcome to It Figures, the toy and action figure podcast on... PopCultureNetwork.com. All right, you got it right. Yes! <laughs> For once. WWW. Slap hands, slap hands. Or you can follow us on Twitter at PopCultureDamienKillinDirt.org. <laughs> Okay. Slash yes. that's not true. monkey. What is our it's pop it's pop culture net. Pop culture it's at pop culture net. At pop culture net. Yes. Twitter is Twitter still cool? People still do that. Um, it's still pretty big. Yeah, it's still know. pretty big. Or you can find us at Facebook. Uh, just search for Pop Culture Network, and a lot of you uh, actually talk to us on a daily basis there. So it might be in your best interest. And, and, and Roberto Rivera is like posting links like a crazy madman. Mm-hmm. He's like Nick Ochoa. Someone every all, day. We love it, and and there is some rumors going around, and I will go ahead and clear the air on that. I'm not saying that I'm, I am Superman. I'm just saying that no one has seen me and Superman in the same room at the same time. That's all I'm saying. Although, to be fair, has anyone seen Superman anywhere, ever since he's a fictional character? That's also a good point. That is mm-hmm. also a good yes. Point. People have seen Chris Reeves. That is also a rumor. He wasn't Superman. Why wasn't he? The the kid from the fog. Really? Don't you dare. <laughs> you your free cred's way down right now. His uh no. cape went Sup- to the Smithsonian. No, yeah, I was gonna say the guy who played super uh, the guy who was Superman uh did uh, autoerotic asphyxiate f- killed himself. <laughs> Hung himself while uh enjoying life, we'll say. David Carradine? He, yeah, he did a David Carradine. Wow. So uh, That's not a true story either, by the way. Yeah, it sure is. No. Absolutely. That's Superman? No. Yeah. You talking about the very first one? Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Bob String. Nope. Nope. Bob Casey, String. Hope. No, no. Carrie. Casey Kasem? Carrie Underwood. No. Sing that. I don't remember what it was. I, I'd watch wow. Carrie Underwood and this Superman. Yeah, we know you would. Yeah. Okay, any who's. All right. We got new three and three quarter inch. Injustice figures coming from I, I'm pretty sure this is DC Direct, but you think it's Mattel? Wow, I mean it could be. I I just don't remember. Okay, and I, this is gonna sound bad, but the only reason I think it's, it's Mattel is because they're not really that good looking figures. <laughs> I'm serious. Like DC Direct, like I love the outfits, but DC Direct would be a little bit more. I'm pretty sure these are the the, the DC Direct three and three quarter inch. You know what? I need to get to where the comments are on this so I can uh, right here. Uh, Where's the YouTube? DC Universe and Marvel scale. Wow, that's epic. So, Hasbro makes Marvel Universe, Mattel makes DC Universe, and we can't tell <laughs> which company is making these because they no, 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 no. It's we know it's not. Uh, it's not Hasbro. DC Direct. Is yeah, DC Direct. Okay, DC there Direct. You there you go. So DC Direct is making poopy figures now. What's wrong with us? They just look. They look unproportionated. Is that a real unproportionated? Word? Yes, unproportionated. Can you spell that? No, I can't spell un. I'm just not a fan of DC. But I will stuff, be. I, be I will be buying this. Um, two of my favorite characters of all time. The Nightwing and Superman pack. Yep. Big Nightwing guy. Big, big, big Superman. So we guy. should probably mention these packs here. Uh, we've got uh, Aquaman versus Black Adam. Uh, for the record, I I would not prefer these. Are you going to post pictures this time? Yes. Dirt, dirt bag. Um, I would don't not. don't close these so that we still have them so we can send him the links because he can't actually yeah. go anywhere and click that. on anything. Right. You have to ask the editor in chief, Dirt. Hey, look. Yeah, he doesn't have time for that. Look, I'll give you the footage. You deal with it. Listen, oh, we do I, that. I don't then you can complain. Yeah, I don't like this show. Shut your mouth. Hey, <laughs> this anyway. isn't my show. <laughs> shut your mouth. Anyway, um, I don't prefer these costumes over the original costumes, but I do like that it's a change. Uh, okay, so these are well, three and three quarter scale, but they're thirty dollars. Okay, first of all. Uh, these are from DC Direct, so it's not going to... It's automatically uh, going to be up four or five bucks because of DC Direct. DC Collectibles, so it's not mass market. It's through comic book shops, basically, is the only way you're going to... Or at conventions is the only way you're going to get them. But that scales right, um, right? They yes. come, Yeah, they come only in two packs because it, it's cost prohibitive for them to do single figure packs. They did a whole bunch of these last year for Green Lantern. And a bunch of Green Lantern, and, they, and they they were only available at conventions, and they were hotter than hell. And then I think there were maybe some leftovers that went through Diamond, but for the most part, it was only uh, at conventions. So this time around, there they, they said, okay, if these are popular enough, we can do it. But it's you know smaller market, um, made more for orders. It's not a mass market thing, so it's a little more expensive. So think of it like this: you can get a six inch figure, or you know, the six inch scale for twenty bucks by itself, or you can get two three and three quarter. 
for thirty. So it's I mean it's 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 pretty much on. I probably I don't know. It, it seems to me like. And it's at, it's from at the twenty dollars. I'd have been like, uh, I don't know. So at thirty, I'm like, no way. Okay, if it was Superman and Wonder Woman and then Nightwing and and Aquaman, no. It's Superman and Nightwing together. That's a uh, uh, that's a must have for me. Um, they also show Flash with a hidden character. The hidden character is um, I don't remember. Kanye West. Boba Fett. Yes, Boba Fett. Go here. Go there. Here? Yeah, but you're gonna have to back out of that story and then go to this story on that page because it'll tell you <laughs> that who the other character is. Okay. Well, <clears throat> uh, is it up or down? Um, keep going up. It's a mystery. Arthur. No, keep going up. Sorry. I like Green Lantern. Yeah, see, there's the Green Lantern pack at one That's Con. awesome. I can't wait to get that. Maybe uh, it is down. Uh, it's on here, though. Huh. Uh -huh. Dead Space. Sing a song. Sing a song while we're doing this. Hello, my darling. Hello. Maybe it isn't on this side. <laughs> you douche. Yeah. I thought All right. right. It's okay. Shame. Well, anyway, there's a secret character. It's not on this one, is it? I don't know. No. Um, okay, so then next up uh, is this is their WonderCon exclusive. So this is the con exclusive Green Lantern from DC Collect. What is WonderCon? It, it's just a Florida. I think it's the Florida. Okay, I need convention. someone to go to WonderCon and get me this Guy Gardner. There's a Guy Gardner and was that Larfreeze? Yes. Is? Yeah. Guy Gardner and Larfreeze with the little bug. Uh, the bug's is. name is Bug. So these are what available the for what? Forty dollars? No. See, I don't know. If that's that's a, it's, it's but this exclusive. again, thirty dollars. They look terrible. Thirty dollars and it's an exclusive, but it's got Gardner, so you gotta have it. No, no. They look. They look Although it's not the bowl haircut, Guy Gardner. They look really bad. So it's Guy Gardner. Yeah, but yeah. Hey, Guy Gardner appeared on um, Brock Green Lantern. Lantern this week, this weekend, and it was amazing. Was it amazing? Little Brock Lesnar. Just for everyone at home that seriously is not watching Green Lantern, I'm telling you, you're missing out. If you watch Young Justin, and you don't watch uh, Green Lantern, you're silly. Well, yeah, they're both canceled now, though. So. It doesn't matter. Right now, Green Lantern is better than Young Justice. <gasps> yes, what? that's a fact. That is a true what? story. What? That's a true story. Hmm. Green they're Lantern both is show amazing. I, I I haven't really watched either show all that much, and it's just one of those things where. Once it appears on like Amazon or Netflix is when I'll just sit down and watch you know five hours at a time. You know? Yeah, Young Justice was gr was absolutely amazing until they started doing this invasion thing. It's still really good, really good. It's just not Green Lantern good right now. <laughs> said nobody ever. I just said it. Are you not <laughs> listening? All right. Ne next up. Why don't you pay attention? Okay. Uh, Walking Dead, bloody black and white Michonne and her pet zombies three pack. Um, if you remember from the uh, story, it's her her husband and his best friend, I believe. She chopped off their arms, ripped off their jaws, Wait, what? What? and put chains on them. Yeah, that's who the zombies were. Yeah, was that was that in the show? It's in the comic. It's in the comic. Oh well, pff. you gotta is, read, bro. The comics ain't real. Um, <laughs> the comics ain't real. Uh, so anyway, this pack, um, the Michonne's been out before. Or did they do both of the zombies before? Not, not looking like that, though. I don't think. Well, that, making them black and white is, I well, think, I mean, the new thing. I mean, black and white, but not with the hood. The bloody. The hood. Hey, about a month ago, we were talking about this, and I could care less about Michonne, but she's been, she's having speaking parts, and she's actually, like, caring and stuff, and she's a, she, I lo I'm loving this character it, Well, yeah, in the comics, she talks a whole lot more. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, well, she's talking a lot more in the show now. Can we stop talking about the comics? Ugh. No. Uh, Ugh. No. But, I just uh, like how Carl mugs everybody. Like, I'll kill you. I'll kill you. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, she got 24 points of articulation, removable poncho, like katana, sword, katana sheath, um, <laughs> two walkers with chains. An ex-husband and friend. Both pets come with removable backpacks, neck chain leash, arms, and bottom jaw. So you can put the jaw back on and then break it off yourself if you want to. That's a pretty good pack. I like that one. You put the arms on them and break the arms off. And so, let's see, the other one that was before them was Rick and, was it Michonne too? The other? No, but it was Rick and Shane and somebody, wasn't it? No, you mean the black and white pack? Yeah, we don't have one. It was Rick and somebody else. Oh, but I think that was comic series and this is TV series. Oh, okay, TV. So this is... This is AMC. Yeah, because this is AMC and the logo's got that based on the history. So that's not her husband then. Right. That's just some... Yeah, some, that's just whoever it is in the TV That's show. just some black Which zombie Which could guy. be... Well, yeah, but in the in the comic, though, it's kind of the same thing, where she walks up to the prison, and she's got both the zombies, and they're like, we're not going to let you in with those, so she just turns and slices their heads off. And so you think, oh, they're just totally random, useless people. But then you get her backstory, and when they reveal her backstory, that's actually her husband and his friend. But at that point, she doesn't even think of them as being 
you know, they're if not I, the people anymore. They're just zombies. If I ever become a zombie and my wife carries me around on a chain, I hope she just kills both of you. Not, not even if you're not zombies, just kills you guys. What does that do with... I'm you? sorry, who? My wife. Oh. Huh. So if your wife takes you as a zombie pet, you hope she kills us? Yes. For what? Because I don't want you guys trying to be like... And grew up on my wife when she they're like we're zombies and then, then you'll be all like bro look mm. it's the like, end of the like, world there's not many women to choose from you'd be like look dude I didn't mean to I was a zombie I'd be like oh here we go with the zombie excuse again we have to do look, it to repopulate the yeah world. to be <laughs> fair to be fair if it is the zombie apocalypse I probably got a shot yeah at some point that's down good, the chain that's good you know what I mean let, let, hey, let Doug get a, get a shot alright I take it back well you know it's like I'm, I'm probably the only one in the tri-state area that hadn't Oh, I said my wife, not my girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> Wait. girlfriends. You think in the, in the apocalypse he'll still be wearing flannel? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be all flannel. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a flannel shirt and wear his pants. He's gonna put all his flannels in one of those backpacks that the zombies walk around. And with. then somebody's gonna kill Rick. Like, do you have any ammo? No, but I got a flannel. Uh, he's loping around with his bum leg. And <laughs> and somebody thinks he's a zombie, and they just kill him. How come, when's, when's Rick been on the show lately? He he says he'll be here soon. He just has to do the school thing, but it's it'll never happen. Yeah, that was one of those things, like, three months ago, he was like, oh, yeah, just give me a week or two, bro, and then I'll totally be there for the taping. Well, I thought he just had to change his trucks out on his skateboard. <laughs> he just, I don't know. He, he's, he comes up with, he's <laughs> got a lot, of, story. He's, a lot of Oh, by the way, they shipped that shirt, Skatator. Oh. So anyway. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Just now? Just now. Okay. That was like seven months ago. All right. NECA and WizKids are announcing the Star Trek Attack Wing Hero Clicks board game. How excited are you? Um, actually, I like these Hero Clicks. Okay. They've okay. released them before just as singles on just like the little Hero Clicks bases, but now they're actually. So is that like a, like a cut a cardboard cutout? Like your captain, like you assign a captain to the ship, I guess. Okay, so that wasn't the question. Is that little picture a cardboard yes. cutout? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's probably a Photoshop of what it would look like if it was real. So do you just play all these tabletop games with yourself in the mirror? He does. Yes. And then you There's like, no mirror, though. He but, just no, I draw on a mustache side. on the mirror, so it's like the Mexican Oh, meat. so it's like, yeah. yeah. Like, like a two and a half you, like, you know, talk trash to him. Right. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. I knew you were going to do that. Look, every move I make, you're just doing, like, the same move, but if I move left, you move right, so we're still right in line. You say, hey, honey. I just won against Mexican dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Go America! <laughs> um, but anyway, they've they've been doing this a lot, actually, with uh, the HeroClick stuff ever since NECA kind of got into the game. They did it with uh, Gremlins. They did it with Freddy vs. Jason. They did it with the first... Freddy vs. Jason HeroClick? Yeah. yeah. Where are they at? They're horror clicks. Yeah, horror clicks. Oh, like... Yeah. But they release them with an actual horror, horror map that you horror, play them like on the and horror. stuff. Um, so anyway, I don't know. I might yeah, pick it up. They snap at you. But I like those little ships. I bought a whole bunch of those at, like, C2E2 last year. What do you do with all that stuff? They're, I just have shelves just lined up with stuff. No, he don't. He hides them from his it's wife. Like, it's like my wife gets to have, like, her precious moments figuring, and then there's, like, my hero. hero You're right next to it. You're like, And then her little thimbles. You know? I can just see you got, like, just, just mountains of just random crap. It's no. just all in a pile. I just open the basement door and chuck it down. I'm like, no, well, no that's cool. Glad I bought it. He's like, this is old now. Philip, I bought you something today at the store. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Philip, you want to play a game? Why does it say 2009? Come on, buddy, I'll teach you. So anyway. Just read the instructions. <laughs> I'm only eight. Hey, kind of excited about this. All right, next up. Uh, the Brothers Brick and the Wall Street Journal. So, you know, Wall Street Journal, Brothers, Brothers Brick. Brothers I mean, Brick. we're talking like... Yeah, you know big. who do you weigh a little bit higher? Uh, but they're both reporting that Lego is in negotiations to get the license to the Simpsons. So it looks like you're going to get some Simpsons Legos. Pop side, pop side, are you? Not really. It's maybe. Not really. It, you know, if they'd done this 14 years ago when the show was good, I probably would have been super excited. But yeah. now it's just like. Uh, and another eh. thing is, it's kind of taken a, away from the novelty because now everything has a Lego. It's yeah. like, you know, what was the first thing to have a Lego? Like what? Like Harry Potter maybe or something? No, I think the first license was, uh, was it Star Wars maybe? Yeah, probably Star, probably Wars. Star Wars. But it was like... No, it was City. Whatever. City oh, was yeah, the first license. license. They went to the City and they got licensed to City. It was like Spider-Man might have been the first. It was, I don't know, sometime in there. They no, I'd say Star Wars. I can't Wars. remember. I did the history. Either way, video, it, was su it was super exciting because it was something different. You know, when I was little, I wanted He-Man and Ninja Turtle and Thundercat Legos so bad I could taste it. 
and they never ever thought about that. You know what I would like if they if they get a license, they just do like a blind bag minifigure wave of just characters. From no the way. What if they did the entire town of The Simpsons? But I don't want. I don't want the town. What? Well, no one. I, I just want. The no figure. one cares what you want though. <laughs> because I don't want a bunch of like. Half, I got him good. I don't want a bunch of like half houses that are like diorama almost, and then one or two figures, and you have to buy seven sets just to get the whole family. I'd rather just get them in a blind bag form. That'd be awesome. I'm sure they'll release the I see, house. I, I don't want blind bag, but I, I wouldn't mind like like the five pack of the family. That's not gonna happen though. They're gonna split the family up into like three different sets. You yeah, have to buy that's all yeah, I know. Money. I know. But anyway, you know, know, like this here's here's actually now, so. here's actually what I would do is just go, eh, not buying. Oh, that's a good point. That's that's probably what I, I would, would just steal them. I would like stick up the entire store, and they're like, "You want all of our money?" I'd be like, "No, I need two of the three of those Lego sets back there." We're just gonna do a heist. They'd be like, "Really? Like old school oh, heist?" Oh, well, okay. You're going to jail. So there you go. Keep your eye on that story. Hmm. See how that breaks. Well, keep I your mean. eye. Keep your eye. You know, if you want to pick a news source, you can keep your eye on Wall Street Journal or Brothers Brick. Just kind of, you know. You know I gotta say, Wall Street Journal's been getting a lot of like toy and comic book stories lately. It's becoming big business. <laughs> it's business. You gotta watch it. All right. Strictly business. On Funko Pop vi Vinyl uh, Figures fan page, they have revealed new pictures of their new Pop Vinyl Beavis and Butthead. Oh my god. Of course hey, not. this would have been cool 14 years ago too. <laughs> That's a terrible butt. Well, no, it's what it's supposed to be like. It's not supposed to look exactly like a butthead. It's supposed to look like a little cartoon fathead butthead. Yeah. And that's well, exactly what it looks no, like. No, Beavis looks okay. The, the butthead looks just, like, awkward. It well, like, exactly Beavis, like, Beavis normally had the bigger head, and they, they, you know, scrunched it down to make it fit better with that design. And he looks okay. But there's just something about butthead that just doesn't look right. It looks like a like a sketchy baby doll. Look at them eyes, dude. He's yeah. like, he's staring at me. Maybe because yeah. the eyes are yeah, so he big. Does look, he's like, look, watch the... He's following me. He's got like a baby face, yeah. But the biggest is, you can tell who it is by looking at it, but you can't tell who that. Like, if that was just in the lineup, I wouldn't know who the hell that is. Yeah, you would. Uh, like, oh, it's just a beaver. With that hair. Oh well, like the shirt. With the shirt and the haircut the and the I teeth with out. the dirty braces, you would know who that is. No. No. Do you want to see it? Well, I'm just going to show them off so people can see. See, look, that one looks like that. No, that's wrong. There are two people that are watching? Uh, actually, there's three. Well, tell your mom hi. Hi, Mom! I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> All, right. All right, and that's really it for the news. What about this? Uh, what? Down, Where? down, over, over, over. Right there. Marvel Slick Nightcrawler? Yeah! Buying that. Are you really? Yeah, absolutely. Why? Because I like Nightcrawler. You know Nightcrawler's dead? Like Michael Jackson? Uh, no, he's bum, really bum, dead. Bum. He's bum, like Jim Morrison dead. dead. Elvis dead. Who? Nightcrawler? Yeah. I call her Elvis dead? Yeah, for real dead. Like found in the bathroom? <laughs> uh, you uh, just saw the toilet dead? Actually he did he did like his like you know how he does his teleportation thing and he and he teleported like trying to block somebody from getting stabbed and instead he teleported like right into the sword. Oh. And he was like, Oh, well, it sucks to be Nightcrawler. That doesn't sound like the very first time that's happened with Nightcrawler. <laughs> like that sounds like a story he's probably so he's, yeah, he's like back. when he's a teenager, he's like Boof! And he's like, his head's in the floor, and his feet are dangling down in the living room. Like, there's, got, there's been a couple misses at some point. So, life. when's he come back, I wonder? How long has he been dead? Uh, ooh. Year and a half, two years? Oh, oh so. He's been there for a while. Pretty good. Yeah. But, they did find a Nightcrawler from an alternate universe. Oh, hanging out. of course they yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right, but he's got, like, a lightning bolt over Maybe it's eye. not a story, then. Oh, well, that's completely different. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Like a Harry Potter. Oh, it's but it's more like disco, like like uh, David Bowie lightning bolt, like painted. Oh, Harry Crawler! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. That's a that weird. Was Harry Crawler. Huh? <laughs> That's a weird donut. That's, That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Well, that's gonna do it for news. Now it's time for the fan corner. Explain the fan corner. If if there's a new viewer tuning in watching the show for the first time, how do you explain the fan corner? Okay, the fan corner is a thread on our website. Uh, popculturenetwork.com you go to the forums we have a, a little section that'll say episode 192 episode 193 and so on and so on today it just happens to be 192 you put in a question a toy question maybe it's a question about your life it doesn't does it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a toy question on a toy website on a, on a toy show I mean it makes sense but if you're like you know look I got a van 
uh, I need new tires. Should I go with, you know, uh, uh, Michelin or should I go with, you know, propellers or whatever? And we, we can answer that. Michelin? Yeah. I didn't know there was a Mitchell in Mitchell. that. Mitchell. Really? It's Mich. Michelin? Like Michigan? Okay. Sorry. And then, uh, or you could ask the, the word police. A yeah, exactly. Thank you. About. Got my title. And, and when was a dictionary first created? So he would know that because. 1643. Yeah. Um, and you're probably correct. We're but anyway, close. you you go on there and you ask us a question and we answer it. Right. Does it mean it's true? No. It's normally <laughs> just our opinion. Even if it's like a fact-based question, like, is the sun really a ball of gas? Uh, it, it's cheese. Yeah. Legal advice in your specific direction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first up from Orco. We are lawyers, that is correct, yes. yes. Orko wants to know, with how awesome the Masterpiece Transformers have been, which characters would you like to see made next in the Masterpiece style? Personally, I want to see Galvatron, Ultra Magnus, and RC. Okay. I'd like to see Ultra Magnus. That's, and that's what everybody's going to say, Ultra Magnus. Because they already have Optimus, they already have Soundwave, they already have, they already have all the main, main characters. Ultra Magnus has to be next. Can I get a Bumblebee? They have, uh, they've done Bumblebee. They've done Bumblebee in Masterpiece? Haven't they? Oh, I have no idea. Probably. I'm pretty sure Probably. I have. Hey, Nick. Hey, Nick Ochoa, do they do Bumblebee and Masterpiece? I'm sure. He, he should be a researcher. All you do is type it in eBay, and you'll get the answer. It's the best search engine. Uh, it's a race. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to search it before Nick answers it. Oh, um, oh, it's him versus Nick. Scotty versus Nick. I don't know. I, I don't, I'm not really a Transformer thing. I got like three. I mean, is there any Transformer that you like that you think would be cool? In a... I like Starscream. Is he ever done? Yeah, he's done. Oh, uh, well, there you go. Yeah, it looks like they have. Yep. Yep. <laughs> well, I don't know if it's come to the States yet, but it's come. Oh, but it's. Oh, but it's the new poopy one, though. It's the movie one. I don't want that. I want the original one. Uh, well, that's a good point. Anything that's movie is automatically worthless. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't say that. No, I wouldn't. I definitely. I would just prefer the old one. So, I would take a Bumblebee, old style, masterpiece. Stew for 600 You know, I'd like to see Masterpiece Unicron. I wonder how big that would be. How expensive like, that would like, be. Like it would be seven hundred dollars. It'd be the size of a Volvo. Oh, you know who I want? Grimlock. Oh, they already done that. Nah. And you have two? No, just one. Oh, just one. I got one. You got one? I got Grimlock. Do you really? Do it. Wasn't it that uh, San Diego exclusive? No, that's uh, Soundwave. No, no, it was a couple years ago. Soundwave and Blaster. Because I got it at one of the conventions. No. It was uh, fifty bucks. I think. Soundwave. No. Blaster. No, he's got the crown. <laughs> he's got the crown on his head. Yeah, it, it wasn't ever a con exclusive. It was sold for the first time, I think, at Entertainment Earth's booth at yeah San Diego three years ago. They were selling first, and then eventually with the Toys R Us <clears throat> a couple months later. That could be. I don't know. I got one too. Well, that's a Toys R Us exclusive though. Yeah, but they were sell They had a deal with Toys R Us. Uh, Entertainment Earth did. How much did you pay for it? Fifty bucks. No joke. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure it sold for like 80 at Toys R Us. You know, might, I, paid, 60, I paid right? way more than that for mine. I got the Japanese version though. And mine came with all kinds of stuff. So that, that's like one of the only Transformers other than some like Creon stuff I have. Uh, Creo. Oh, here's something. Nick Ochoa says they can never do Bumblebee in Masterpiece because they can't get the rights to the Volkswagen Beetle anymore. Oh. That's why. That's why he's different. They, they just Volkswagen won't give him the rights. Oh, we suck again. Hmm. Well, I guess they won't pimp the auto. Remember those Volkswagen commercials? No. no. I don't remember those at all. I remember that one commercial went da da da, and they put that couch in the back of that. Do 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 do. Da da da. What was, was like the what, worst song ever? What was that too? Was that Volkswagen? Or Pretty sure it was. was. It's hmm. Volkswagen or Volvo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anywho. All right, next up, Clone Yoshi coming in number two this week. Clone Yoshi. He says, hey, guys, got a couple questions today. Do you have any of the BTR G.I. Joe sets? They are a lot like Lego. It has a Joe figure that sits in the three-inch scale. It's awesome with some type of vehicle that fits in, like a plane or a tank or a sub. This leads to my next question. Do you think Creo should do something like this in their line? Okay, first of all, shut your mouth. They're not like Lego. Okay? <laughs> They're from they Lego are Lock. very terrible. Uh we used to have some here at the store, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I actually have one or two sets, and they are just like, they are they're crap, super crap. Can you please not tell Clone Yoshi to shut your mouth? Can you just tell him please be quiet? I, I don't, I don't <laughs> like them at all. They're like, 
They're they're you know obviously they're similar to Lego, but they're like slightly. He larger. don't wear he doesn't wear hockey pads. That's what it says right here on this thing. So when you snap them together, they're like they're just slightly too big. Hmm. This is the best way to explain it. They're like the same. It's like they took a Lego and they molded over it because they're just slightly too bigger hmm. than Legos. They're slightly too bigger. Huh. Get a more police. No, that's right. Slightly too bigger. Yes. In Victorian England, that was the accepted Bam. way of speaking. Yeah. And that's Whoa. how I talk. Victorian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're definitely Victorian. But no, I, in the sets, in the, and obviously that's the Creo is doing that, and they're doing better. Oh, that is amazing. They're doing better than yeah, BTC did back then. So, BTR. BTR, whatever. Grand Funk. Those are awesome. All right, next up. I found this on Amazon. Do you think these Pokemon Lego knockoffs should make it to the States? Yes. Uh, so is it Charmander? That's Charizard. And, looks like Charizard. And you can rebuild it. My mistake. You can rebuild them into an airplane or a helicopter or whatever your heart desires because they're buildable bricks. Squirtle. A little brick Squirtle. I, I wish... I wish. Those are awesome, dude. That, But that's not Ash. I know that much. Right. That's definitely not Ash. Can we click that's, on this link and... That's a different And see person. where... Japanese Pokemon, Japanese How much is it? Figures. I want to know how much this is. Is it dollars you open the new. You open the new link. You don't have to. Oh! Oh! A hundred nineteen ninety nine. No, they can keep it. Uh, <laughs> no, I wanted it to stay. It's by Bandai. It's made by Bandai, so it's not. It's not really a knockoff. Okay, how big is that thing for a hundred twenty dollars? How many more pieces is it? Go back up. Why? Okay, that? we don't need to look at the. Well, I was looking to see if it had any of the information about it down there because there's nothing up here really. Well, it will take four to five days <laughs> to ship. Sold by Japan Hobby Shop. One hundred and twenty dollars, oh, or one hundred and eleven fifty-five. Yeah, from from some other sellers, but with uh, twenty dollars shipping. So one hundred and forty dollars. What did I say? Thirteen ninety-nine. <laughs> Samsonite. I was way off. And maybe, it's it's not that many Japan pieces, that really. Dude, that's insane. But if you could find some no Legos and make your own, no, hmm. you couldn't make your own. I would pay nineteen ninety-nine. Well, Sorry. You know what I, I found out? Pay. Well, check check the price on eBay, because I always find that Amazon prices are way higher than eBay prices. Uh, well, let's see here. In comparison. Let's do it quick. We need to make sure we save that story, though, or... It opened a new out. link. We'll freak out. It's in a new window. So you're not going to lose it. Yeah. Why are you freaking out? I will freak out. See? You can Stop edit freaking it. Out. You can edit it. I will. Good. Done. Email it to me. Done. Charizard. If huh. I'm done tonight. So they actually have no actual listings for Pokemon Japanese block figures Charizard. Okay, get rid of Japanese. Let's try this. Pokemon. But Nothing. Hmm. Type in Pokemon Lego. Well, then there must be some kind of licensing issue. Type in, like, Pokemon Real Legos, because it's exactly like Legos. <laughs> <laughs> this is almost, they're probably almost better than Pokemon Legos. Pokemon Lego. Lego Pokemon. <laughs> Genuine Lego... Lego. Pieces ultimate. It says nothing about Pokemon in that thing. Okay, well. well okay, so there's it's oh well, there's, there's there some go. of them. Wow. Eight fifty for the little block. That's insane. Oh, these are made by Mega Blocks in Japan. There's Ash. Scroll back yeah. up. How much was Ash? Ash Ketchum, fourteen ninety eight. From UK. So. Oh. <gasps> That's yes, Team James Rocket. James Team Rocket for ten forty two. Those are sweet. All right, so there you go. Uh, okay, either way, a hundred twenty dollars is insane. It's just a block with some paint on it. Yes. <laughs> All right, next up. Wow. K Walsh 007. Is he a spy? He says, "Would you guys cash dirt killing? Please consider making around the town vlogs on how you guys spend an average day. For example." Where do you guys like to get coffee? Where do you guys grab grub? A tour of the almighty killing enterprises, etc. Other YouTubers do stuff like that, and they're always entertaining. You guys are my favorite YouTubers, so it would just be awesome if you guys did it too. Please! He says that. It actually, lots of E's on there. Please! I also think it'd be super neat if Killen made a video that explained the history of how he got into the comic shop business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he just said, hey, maybe we should carry comics. And then, boom, he was a comic Well, guy. I think he means the store in general. Well, I think we, we've done this a couple times throughout the years. Uh, tour videos of the store, and then we did have the conversation. Although we, we've moved the store around. We did have a couple You want to move it around again, so. Uh, about Yeah, there's no reason that you, you shouldn't be putting up one of these videos. Like, I don't know. That's, that might be a good idea. Maybe we should 
have a homework assignment where we all make our daily block. Okay, well, Saturday, my day would have consisted of eating like a pig, going downtown, getting drunk, and punching some guy, and making him all bloody that screamed at me that he was going to beat me up because he was in the Navy. And then he went home with a swollen face. That would have been a good video. That was video. only Saturday? Because that that's, like, that's like my daily schedule. That would have been a good Well, except for mine. That would have been story. a good video. Everybody would like that. They would have been. But they would have seen me running around drunker than the skunk with my shirt off downtown looking like a fool. How how that, how hey, you know, uh, the St. Patrick's Day parades this weekend, right? I'm going there. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I promise not to knock anybody out. Um, all right, so are we going to do that? Are we going to do videos this week then? For uh, next week's show? Yeah. Or, or does, sure. should we do one person a week for the yeah, next three weeks? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So who's going first? Damien. <laughs> Actually, I tell you what. I'll... Okay, whatever. You can make mine in three weeks, because it'll be after I go to St. Louis for the convention, so I can come back and do a little convention video. That's cheating. They don't want to see your convention video. They want to see your everyday yeah, video. I don't want to show my everyday. You just you sit in front of a computer watching yeah, TV. It's, it's just like me with no shirt on. Sleeping. Just like clicking... By the way, can we? Do I have to come over and help you take your down your Christmas decorations? <laughs> it's just one string of lights. It doesn't matter. It's March. Yeah, but it's just one string. I can't figure out if they're just up there still, or if you're just waiting, ready for next year. You know, well, my plan is to wait until Fourth of July, oh, and then I'm just God. gonna plug them in and shoot them with the pellet gun, so they. Psh. Okay. Yeah. Because there's garland on them still. Yeah, well, that's part of the lights. Okay. Well, he's busy. I got. I'm <laughs> doing. I'm crazy. doing this show. I'm doing this show. Yeah. I ain't got time for this. <laughs> Nobody got time for taking over. Yeah, we, hey, no, we got no time for that. And my, when we got that video, when I got that that sack from the other day, he goes, "Are his Christmas lights still up?" And I was like, "No." Yeah, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait. So, do you want me to take down my Christmas lights, or do you want me to do the review Maybe of Law and Order: Criminal Intent season ten oh on my DVD? God. Can, you, can you do? Not both. Not both. The, do the review. I can do the review while I'm taking down the lights. No, just do the hey review. Hey guys, welcome to my house. Hey, you should to totally put that in your video, though, your daily vlog video of you taking down the lights that I was making fun of you about. Here's the Christmas lights that I still have. You see, now, now I have to leave them up for three months because you mentioned it. That's fine. And I'll still drive by and make fun of you about it. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Where are those? Third party. Those are third party, for sure. Uh, actually, it's some Japanese... Hey, random, what are we doing? Oh, uh, so Nick Ochoa put a link to the uh, Alternators Alternity from uh, Takara Tomy in Japan showing Bumblebee and Cliff Jumper made from real cars. And that's still not a... That's, is that and a that's, new... No, it's a Subaru. That's the closest thing they're going to get to. That's the closest they're going to get to Volkswagen Bug. When did those come out? Are they already out? They came out in 2009. Those aren't... Those are... I like those. They did a bunch of them came over to the U.S. I don't know if this one actually did or not, but there were a bunch that came to the U.S. that were based off the. Well, real so was cars. Cliff Jumper? Cliff Jumper wasn't a, uh, a bee, was he? Yeah, he or, was. Uh, they just took Bumblebee and made him red. Well, and had, that was there was a Jumper. couple of them, wasn't there? I think they put. A, did they put a different head on him? But he was a different head. Well, it's like the Jets. Like there were a whole bunch of Jets, like Thundercracker and Starscream, that were like the same. But I thought when, there was like ten different color Bumblebees back then. I was like a brown, was, well, there was a gold gold bee, gold bug. I think they call them. Whatever. But, yeah. So there you go. Whatever. Whatever. Paint changes the name. Next sure. question. <laughs> Paint changes the name. I heard some rumors about a Lego license for the Simpsons. If that's true, I'll probably end up buying at least some of the sets to get the complete Simpson family at Killing. This is questions for you. Would you like to see a Lego Simpson line? Not really. <laughs> I mean, I just want the figures. I don't care about the dumb Okay, sets. okay. Are there any other cartoons that you would like to see Lego sets based on? Uh, yeah, Ooh. old 80s properties would be cool. Yeah, hell Belgian yeah. Lego man who writes this question adds that I think a Scooby-Doo Lego line would be great too. Hey, hell yeah. Hey, I would snag up a, a, a Lego mystery machine with, um... Daphne? Yes, Daphne. <laughs> with Scooby and Shaggy. Absolutely. What, what about Scrappy? I'll take Scrappy. Like, do you like Scrappy or see like the hey, cousin I gotta Oliver be honest, dude. I, I loved Scrappy until the movie came out when he was healed. He went heel on us. See, I, I've never saw the movie. He, don't watch he went. He goes heel, dude. Straight heel on you. Hmm. Does he come out going... <laughs> yes. And he's like... <laughs> and he spray paint in the mystery van. Scrap, 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 W-O. Alright. 
So you don't want to see the Simpsons line at all? Not really. The Not figures, even just to get the figures? No, I mean, if they just did a family pack or something, fine, but they won't. Okay, but we can go to one of the cons and get the, the figures, for, you know, dirt cheap. Probably like 15 bucks a figure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're just handing them that, things That out. budget line Lego. Yeah, it's one of those things, those things like, out. you almost have to buy a set because it might be cheaper buying the set than trying to buy the figures by myself. It, no, it totally is because you can get like, you can probably get the whole set for like 25 bucks you know, 30 bucks, or you can get the figures for like 12 bucks a piece. So it's like, are you going to spend an extra $4 and get all the Legos that come with it? More than likely. Because yeah. remember when we first found those superheroes, we weren't even sure they were out yet. We're like, how much yeah. are these? And they were like, well, uh, 12 yeah. for this one, 15 and 17. They're like, the whole set's like 40 and you get six of these figures. Yeah, because I wanted that Deadpool by himself, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to pay that whatever you want. 20, 20 bucks, bucks for the box. Yeah. See, I bought the set. I just bought the set. But it was before we could find the set. Yeah, it was way before the set. This is like two years ago, when, or a year ago, when it first started coming out. Actually, when they when they first came out, Eris and I both bought a set yeah. of the Deadpool. Yeah. And then he opened his up, he walked out to his truck, sat down, opened his up, picked up Deadpool, Those the foot Legos. fell off. That was one of Legos. Legos. Those oh, I thought you were talking about the... Those the, are mini-mates. Yeah. Oh, in the Legos. set. Like, in the no, whole we're set. talking oh. straight, real Legos. Yeah. They, we they, even said the word But Lego. they did sets in, of Lego minifigs? Yeah. Of just the minifigures as a set? No. No, that's they, what we're saying. At the con, they sold them, them that way. They opened up the boxes. Okay. And I they, thought you were saying they had sets and they were selling them at the con mm -hmm. of the, of the no. box sets. No. Okay. They opened up the sets and sold the figures individually. So it's like... All right. It's like, I can pay 20 bucks or 18 bucks per figure, or I can spend... 40 and spend four extra dollars and get all the Legos that come with it as well. Right, okay. I gotcha. So Legos are a ripoff whether you buy them new or you're buying them used secondhand at a con, is what you're saying. <laughs> I guess, whatever you want. <laughs> I don't think that's what I said at all, but fine. <laughs> no, that, that's how I heard it. All right, next up from Gundam Warrior. He says, hey guys, well, looking through the aisles at work, I've been noticing the new Transformers Beast Hunter stuff, and I like the new sound wave that comes with Ravage. Shortly after that, I noticed the Monsuno stuff. I normally wouldn't give it a second look, but the little animals look very similar in size and style, and I was starting to think how awesome it would be to expand Transformers Prime's Soundwave's army of animals. Wait, so there's a there's a, a Soundwave Beast Hunters? Yeah, there's everybody Beast Hunters. Oh, I don't, oh. Yeah, give it the program. I'll slap the piss out of you. Give some Transformers in your life. I'll take my shirt off and hit you. I heard that one. But uh, what, what's the second thing? Um, what are those? Well, he said... He's like Monsuno. Monsuno, they are like little vials that have like a little cube or ball oh, or something no, those in are, it. Those are trash bags. And you kids. like no, you like spin them around and you flick the thing out and it rolls out and it pops into an animal. Sounds oh, like it's like it's like Bakugan, but instead of being a ball that turns into a dragon, it's like a it could be a cube or a watermelon shaped thing that turns into a, another animal. Oh damn it! I didn't do that. You just say Monsuno. So that sounds like. Pokemon. It's M O N. They'll know what I'm talking about. All right, whatever. No, not Monsanto. <laughs> that's that's a soybean and corn hybrid. Oh, they even got cartoons for this show. Well, I never saw the cartoons. Well, there you go. Well, now we got a new show to watch. Um, but another example in combining lines are Monster in My Pocket and Slug Zombies. <gasps> Monster in My Pocket. Led by, uh, uh, zombies. by uh, Soundwave, I'll take it. So, do you like combining characters and franchises that are in the same scale and style, or are you particular in how you display your figures? Um, I definitely do not have the mix, mix and match like that. I do, because I forgot from which series they came. And well, like, but, but do no, you have no, like no, all no. your Grimlocks together, even though they're all different scales, or do you have the Grimlocks like separated by size? No, 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 no. They're all together, but this is—I don't really think that's—I don't feel like that's how he's asking. I think he's well, asking. Well, he's kind like, of asking besides playing with them, but also putting them on display. Okay. Well, the way I figure is like, okay, I got all my DC Universe Classic figures sitting here. Are you going to put Colossus and He-Man in there with them? I think I figure. I, I feel that's how he's saying. Well, that, that's kind of along the lines. Yeah. Of exactly. There's no way. No way. Well, I mean. They might be off to the side, but it's like Juggernaut and Colossus are, uh, is on the side, away from everybody else. Because I got Gambit, Colossus, and Juggernaut from the DC, I, or, uh, DC Select. I think it really kind of depends Marvel on Select. how many of a particular figure I have. Because like, if I've got like two of one thing and 30 of something else, they'll just be on the shelf with the other ones. you yeah. know. But if I've got, I don't know. That's just, it just depends on how many. Mine's things. all mixed because I can't remember. Well, I did have about where they go. 50 Hogan's and one Zeus. <laughs> That's right. Why is there a black Hogan? 
What did he fight the Hulk? That's so racist. I can. I'm so. I'm embarrassed right now. I can't even say Black Hogan. <laughs> oh, Zeus, Zeus was was not black. No. Oh. He was mulatto. Oh, what color is that? Mixed. He mixed looked, mix of what? I don't know. <laughs> he was darker than night. <laughs> I like, love black man. Wait, you mean Batman? Like, yeah. Weird. So Batman and Hulk Hogan and Black Hulk Hogan. Right, and Nightwing. And, you, and that's on one shelf? Yes, just wow. read. All right, next up. Homo Sectionals says, I'm going to refer myself in the third person. Ready? Homo Sectionals says, hey, guys. Thanks for answering my question last week. I've been following you guys through the years. I've fallen in love with all your various formats. Blah, 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 blah. I think it's great. I think the show is great and utilize it as my go-to source for anything new and related to toys. Uh, for old time's sakes, do you br plan on bringing in any of the old blokes to the show? Or is the cast as we see it here pretty much going to be the crew? Well, I would say probably it will be us. Maybe Rick will, you know, not be injured or sick and he should probably be in involved. Um, as far as, like, Pixel Dan, he probably won't do anything with us just because he's doing his own thing right now. Uh, Flavor Dave is completely out. He, you know, issues. He burned that bridge. Yeah, that bridge is burnt. And, uh, I mean, maybe the Vol could stop in once in a while. He, we still have pretty good terms with him, so. Um, I don't know, maybe Pixel Dan at some point, maybe. I just don't. Like, I, I, I wouldn't count I would it. highly doubt it. I would say Duvall is probably... I mean, it's a possibility, though. Easiest bet, but, I mean, there's no plans. And there's a lot of scheduling stuff that has to be dealt with. Um, Duvall's the most likely. We'll just say it that way. Yeah. All right, next up. My other question is in regards to that weird bootleg toy you guys had on the show about two or three months ago. Killen walked off the set to get it from the case. It appeared to be a robotic steed of some kind. If you still thing, have it, please let me know what it's called. We don't know. It, is, it was we like, not have it. We sold it. It's, yeah, it sold actually online. And I don't, I cannot remember. Rick knew the name. It was some kind of weird Japanese name. It, the figure looked like Sectors, mm -hmm. but it had been bootleg knocked off. And then he was on this big white like Pegasus. Um, and, he knows and what it is. He just someone found. It's... Actually, if you check our message board, I think he ID'd it by taking a picture and putting it on the message board, saying "Please ID this toy," and somebody ID'd it for him. So I bet if you go through our message board and just look at all those posts that say, please ID this, or what is this toy, It's, it's a really long name. I, I remember it was like three, like three... Super lame movies. knockoff sectar guy. It was all like Japanese. Super happy fun, weak Pegasus monster fun... Sectar. Super you a winner, ha ha ha. Sectar. It's, yeah, it's one of those things you'll never find again. It was just like completely random. And where did Goo get that from a, a flea market? I don't know. No idea. All right, so... Um, Thanks, guys. Please keep it up. I'm 30 now. Hope to be 40. Still watching you guys because even though you're old and play with toys, that doesn't mean you're a pedophile. I hope you get 42. <laughs> hey, you can't prove it. Wait a second. Oh, I won't be involved in that one. Yeah. Wait, that means that means you, you no, rub people's feet, no, right? No, that means no. it's over the line. It's, it's like you give people foot rubs. That's a pedicure. No, that's with the, with the nails. No, you're a pedophile. So, so you take the file and work down their foot yeah, nails? You're a sicko. Oh, so all of a sudden the word police... <laughs> Goes down. Huh? Yeah, I know. Yeah, Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> All right, uh, Yoda Soup says, "Hey guys, how often do you check out the toy aisles?" Uh, every couple of days. <laughs> yeah, I usually try to go to a store every two or three days. Yeah. And I usually try to talk my kids into going, so it's not like just me being creepy, going there by myself. I'm going yeah, there with Scott. Must go every day because he always be like. Hey, Although speaking of toy aisles, uh, a month or so ago, I was lamenting a toy I was trying to find. And it said it was available at Toys R Us, and our Toys R Us was not cool enough to have it. Well, now our Toys R Us is cool enough to have it. I got my Hobbit Sting Sword. This is the one toy from the Hobbit movie I was hoping to get. You've been carrying this in your bag for like three Yeah, weeks. I keep forgetting. I've had it a couple or of weeks. Or you just ago. actually carry it around because you never Why know. Why did you buy that? I've always wanted it. Ever since I read The Hobbit, I've always wanted one of the... So since you were six, you wanted this little lane plastic sword. Yep. That's Sting, bro. And its name is Sting. This thing is Sting? Yeah. That's the name he gave it in the novel. Shh. It lights up when there's Did it just make noise? Uh-huh. Oh, my God. <laughs> it sounded like it went shh. Did it not? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> now you can't get it to do it again. You're doing something weird with it, man. All right, now you're just, like, making the dry <laughs> hump. Did you hear it? No. Shh. I wasn't paying attention. Oh. 
almost bent it because we're fat on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut my throat! Alright, so anyway, very happy. Anyway, for you. yeah, it's good for you. You got that plastic sword. How, and how much was it? 20 bucks. Oh my wow. god. <laughs> Dude, for ten more dollars, you could have got two, three, three and three quarter inch DC guys. <coughs> yeah, but that's one of those things I've always wanted. Also, I've always wanted a Chinese hooker. Who and would win? Ten dollars, twenty dollars on one of those. You would if you could. Who that's Who true. would win in a slapping match? Frank Black or Jack Bauer? Um, who's that, Frank that, Black? Jack Bauer. From Millennium. That would be Jack Bauer, and I'd say that only because Frank Black would just get knocked out by the first slap from Jack Bauer, and that'd be the end of the fight. Although Jack Bauer would allow him to hit him a couple times because he needs the drama. He needs to be slapped and beat up because he likes to get he likes to get smashed around a little bit every so often, hmm. just to let you know he's still a man. He likes drama. He likes getting hit. He likes to get. He likes the drama. He likes to get beat. And that's gonna do it for the show, guys. So thanks for watching. Don't forget if you want to leave your own question in the uh, fan corner, make sure you go to jointheforums.com, part of the Pop Culture Network. Also, make sure you check out popculturenetwork.com for more toy reviews. Uh, Comic book reviews, uh, an upcoming review of Law and Order Criminal Intent Season 10 on DVD. Yeah, it, Are you really? Who yeah. cares? Shout Factory, because they sent it to us to review it. <laughs> so, we'll get that done. Hey, can you not slobber on my phone, bro? With the size of that phone, I'm surprised more stuff doesn't get so, on. So, it's a written review, right? No. It's what? Why would you make a video? Why wouldn't you? Because they actually like the video reviews more than the written reviews. Yeah. Is that what they said? Because I tried to yes. do written last time, and they preferred a video. So I did a video. Yeah. That was own. for Grizzly Adams. Listen, mind your own business. How, how can you even do that? Because you can't use the scene, right? Or can't you? Why can't you? No, you just use clips. I just, or I just use stills. Yeah, why can't you? If they if they own it, and but yeah, you can for them. because you upload YouTube and YouTube like freaks you, out. And YouTube will say you can't use that, and then you say yes, I can. It's for editorial purposes under the terms of fair use, and then they go, oh, okay, sorry. And then, you, then I'll sue them. I mean, it takes like six weeks for that process, yeah. but that's literally, it's two steps. They say, hey, you can't use that. You say, hey, yes, I can. And then you can. And then I take off my shirt and I punch him. And then he takes off their shirt and I go blind from like, it's like, Because it's like Medusa because it's so mysterious. Anyway, are we done? Yeah, that's mystery. it. There's a lot of mystery. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. We'll have more great stuff coming. And we'll talk to you later. Do 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 do